let's talk paperwork and contracts. So once the property is sold, the next step is the paperwork. The agent prepares a contract for sale of your property, which includes details of the owners, purchases, title, settlement date, all conditions such as finance clause or pet building and pest. The exchange of contract is the formal legal process that creates a binding contract for the sale on the agreed terms. The seller and buyer each sign a copy of the contract and exchange these documents, making the contract legally binding. Of course, in South Australia, cooling off periods apply. In Adelaide, once you have a sales contract and you're served a Form 1 document, you then enter the cooling off rights, which here is two business days. In this time, you can change your mind and pull out of the contract without penalty. Moving forward after the two business days, a deposit is payable. Then, if anything is unable to be performed to transact the property on settlement day, then penalties will apply. But best to stay engaged with your conveyancer as they are the people to give you the independent advice based on the property transaction and the legalities of your contract and form one document that you've entered into. If you're like most Australians, you'll be selling your property before the mortgage has been paid off. You'll have to arrange payment of the outstanding amount on your loan before settlement takes place. Arranging this can sometimes take a few weeks, so it's important to start the process with your lender as soon as possible in the settlement period. Conveyancing, it's the process of transferring legal ownership of a property from one person to another and it is required in every real estate purchase in Australia. It can only be done by licensed conveyances or solicitors. You need to then touch base with your conveyancer or solicitor to discuss what's within the form one and in the sales contract and any questions they should be able to bring the answer to your attention. Now there is also other aspects that are really imperative in the purchase and that comes down to the ownership in general. Will you be buying in a sole name or will you be buying in a company or a trust account? These needs to be ascertained right at the beginning. So with your conveyances help and also the help of a really good accountant, it can also save you money moving forward, particularly if you're purchasing an investment property. So while the conventional wisdom is that it's safer to sell a home first than buy another, as it reduces the risk and means you don't have to get a bridging finance or possibly do both at the same time. But it comes down to research. You have to know the markets you're buying and selling in well and work closely with the agent on both sides as well as your lender to pull off simultaneous property transactions. It all comes down to research and preparation. While it's not common in a rising market, it's also possible to buy first and sell second. If the property you're selling is desirable and will have a high level of demand, there's no reason why you can't look and buy first.